Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very short video. Uh, right here we have one, two, three products in our cart. And what we're going to do is that every time we add to cart and go to view the cart, we are quickly going to jump from our shopping page immediately to our checkout. We want to reduce the number of steps that actually are taken. So usually our shopping process is uh, we add to the cart, then we go to view the cart, then we have the option of changing everything here, then we go to proceed to checkout. But some of our customers just like having the process quite short. So today we're going to look at that in a very short video, five lines of code and we are done with this whole process. So let's jump in. So I have my little plugin here that I've written. I'm going to drop it into my editor. I'll open up a quick file, give it the same name. Uh, we'll start off in every way that we start off plugins and I have a short code snippet that allows me to quickly um, enter all the information that I need to here. So we have all the details that we need uh, right here. Of course, this is going to be a different license. We'll license it under GPL2 or later and uh, we're good to go. And we're going to add a filter. So we'll use the add action, add filter. And in this uh, add filter, we're going to tap into the WooCommerce uh, hook. It's called the WooCommerce add to cart redirect. And after that, we're going to just add an anonymous function, which I'll just call a skip cart. We shall just call it take a press, skip cart. So I'll just come back here and then start writing the function. Uh, of course, give it its name. And then uh, we'll, after naming the function, then we can, uh, we are ready to actually start working on this. So we shall now add one particular thing. So the only thing that we are going to be required here is to actually just return one item. And that is going to be, we're going to return the WC get checkout URL. And this is a function that is by default in WooCommerce. That's why it has this indentation, in this prefix of a WC. So it's basically just saying get the checkout URL and that checkout URL we already stated in our settings in our WooCommerce we already said that our checkout page should actually be the checkout page. So that's the URL that's going to come. If we set it in any other page that's what would come in place of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this, uh, go back to the plugins, reload them and then we shall see take a press short checkout. So when we click activate here we are now ready, I'll reload our shop here and when we add to cart and click view, we're immediately taken to our checkout. So within just four lines of code, five lines of code, we're able to make this process that was so long. Sometimes we lose customers because they just want to pay and get out of there. So this is a short code snippet that you can either add in your, in your theme, but I wouldn't advise you to do that because when you change themes, you can lose such critical uh, settings. Rather, I would advise you to put this in a plugin just like we've done. Very short. If you don't want to use it anymore, you just go and deactivate it and you're back to normal settings. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you want to see more of these, please let me know in the comments below and like the video. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.